So Tim, I've heard from several different people that the apprehension about this reverse mortgage is that the bank will own your home. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Because I've heard you say that that's not the case. As a matter of fact, Diamond, I mean, that's the biggest misconception about reverse mortgages. People feel like if you do a reverse, then mom and dad are no longer on title. When mom and dad pass away, the home goes to the bank, which is simply not true. It's the biggest misconception. So mom and dad are on title today. Mom and dad are on title tomorrow with a reverse mortgage. They own the home, whether they live there for two years or 22 more years. When they pass away, the home goes to the heirs, and then the heirs can uh, sell the home and, and take whatever equity is left in the home at that time. So then moving forward, it's really going to be on the heirs' decision if they want to even keep the property and go through their own loan process to keep that home. Yes, that's, yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, basically at that time when mom and dad pass away and they had a reverse mortgage, they have two main choices. They're, they're either going to go in there and refinance whatever's owed on that reverse mortgage at that time, um, and then they could move into the home and live there, or they would sell it for X, pay off whatever's owed on the reverse mortgage, and then the difference being the equity that they would take with them as part of their inheritance from, from mom and dad.